Who wants to go treasure hunting? You do! What's digging pirates? Swing for the ring here and I know it's been a little bit. I've been out of the state. Had to go to Washington State for a wedding. Uh, the wife's oldest brother he got hitched he threw in the towel too so we're here it's a gorgeous day in Michigan water is about 74 degrees and the air is perfect the humidity is low for any of you people down in Florida you guys know what I'm talking about the humidity it sucks you just instantly sweat but we're going in the water today and the Sun is shining holy mackerel uh, hey the moon is still out why and what are you doing? Get off of my beach. Stop cleaning it. That's my job. So check this out, pirates. One of my wife's patients gave this to her, and it's basically an in-memory campaign where they're just remembering a child, and what they're doing is basically forwarding on a gift, a toy car, so that another child can enjoy it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it kind of hidden over on that playground and hey, whatever child, whatever family member, whoever founds this, this is theirs. And it's just in memory uh, of this young boy who you know lost his life but I think this is just a you know it's such a great cause hopefully they follow this and check them out on Facebook just to support it but you know I think it's awesome. Uh, I believe he also just loved matchbox cars and cars in general. So we're going to put this over on that playground. Hopefully a young treasure hunter finds it. They can keep it. It's a gift to them. So that's just awesome, man. What a great cause. So it'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Hopefully someone finds it. I'll check at the end of the day. I'll show you guys where we hide it and we'll go back. We'll see if it's still there or not. If any of you guys are interested, I'm going to leave a link down in the description to that Facebook page so you guys can check it out too. Uh, you know, maybe you can even join in on the cause yourselves. Uh, again, just awesome. So check out the link for this down below in the description. Check it out if you guys want to. Great cause. But we're going to be out here all day at the beach, so I'm guessing it's going to get busy. There's going to be kids here enjoying the water as well. But hey, let's get digging, guys. So it looks like we have a couple early young beachgoers already swarming the playground. So we're going to have to be a little incognito when we hide this thing. I will tell you one thing, I am shocked that I have this entire beach right now to myself. I know there's other guys that come out here, they hunt it, but I'm surprised they're not out here this morning. It is a perfect, flat, gorgeous day on the big lake, and the water's going to be warm. We've got the whole kitten caboodle. Oh, hi, Mr. Butterfly. Show me the way to the treasure. All right, nickel. I figured I'd hit the dry sand just for a little bit while it's not too busy and after that we'll get in the water cool down but I would expect this in probably another two hours to fill up a little bit this beach actually doesn't get as busy as the two beaches south of here where I'm assuming everyone is at today because there's a huge festival going on this week so we'll probably try to hit that on Sunday today's Friday in case you're watching this video and I don't upload it for the next week. It's gonna be a good day. Where my feet are was the nickel. Looks like we had a little mini pocket spell. Just got a quarter. Like I said in the earlier videos, once I find something, I'll do a little circle perimeter sweep because I'm assuming this is where someone was sitting. And if there's a pocket spell, Everything's going to be kind of right here within five to ten feet. So I'll just keep going in a circular pattern from where I found my original target, which was right there. 
And you never know. You never know where the treasure is. It's not like they just leave big X's on the beach where the treasure's at. Oh my gosh, there's an X. But there's nothing there. <laughs> so I don't want to bore you guys with just finding coins since all of it's most likely going to be modern. But just like I was telling you, right here we dug a nickel and then right here was a penny and we just got a dime. So in a matter of a three by three, three coins. And that's why we circle around. Watch, these will be the only three coins. And you get, oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> and you guys don't get to see any of them. And then you'll call me a liar. But I promise, there's coins here. Spill. Beach towel spill. I think we got at least two more. Oh, there's another penny. All right, penny. And another one right here. Right there, another penny. So that's five coins, just like that. Beach towel spill, man. Oh. A sixth coin. All right. Quarter. So that's, what, 43 cents? Oh. Coin number seven. Another dime. 53 cents. We're going to get us an ice cream this afternoon. I can feel it. Not bad. Seven. Oh, oh. Nope. Oh, false signal. False signal. Seven coins. 53 cents. An average of 7.2 cents. A whole. <laughs> those, those profit margins, man. We're killing it. And for those of you wondering, yes, where I just dug those seven coins, it is right in the path of where that beach groomer just went through. So if you have a beach groomer on your beach, don't be deterred. It's not picking up your coins. It's not getting those rings. It might snag necklaces uh, with the little tills and rakes that go through, but your coins, your heavy stuff, rings, they're still gonna be here. So if a beach cleaner is at your beach, don't worry. It's not getting the good stuff. Well, we made it to the water. Got our first green coin. It's a dime. So that's a good sign. All right. All right, so a little bit of Matchbox history for any of you Matchbox nuts out there. Anytime you find a Matchbox car that's made like in England, especially England, uh, Germany, Basically not China or the USA. They're usually worth more now being sunken in the lake and encrusted. Uh, this one's pretty roached, so you're not gonna get any collectors buying this. But still, really cool. We got the SS Cadillac ambulance. Bidoo, 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 bidoo. All right, we went a little farther out on the beach and we're deeper in the water. We finally found some flat bottom if you guys are walking on those little rifts uh, they're like little speed bumps that's kind of telling you that you're in a sandy spot you want to get to where the bottom is almost perfectly flat hard pack that's where you're gonna get some of your heavier targets and you don't have to deal with all that sand and everything's sinking so fast so get out deep hello Looks like we got us a nice little earring. A bit crusty, but we'll take it. Arr! This might be the biggest thing <laughs> I've ever found out here. It is so heavy. Oh my gosh. What is it? I don't know. It looks like it might be a downrigger ball. But it feels like it's a cannonball. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's probably 10 pounds. 
Should we do it? Should we do it, guys? <laughs> I know it's not a cannonball, but guess what? Cannonball! All right, now I gotta go get it. Do you see it? Do you see it? How about now? Shiny, shiny. But it's junky, junky. <laughs> Hello. That's like a piece of art right there. Holy smokes. Man, those have been down there for a while. One, two, three, a four. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I like it. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I love finding keys. All right. Uh, it doesn't look like it's sterling, but it's something. It's ugly, but it's a ring. Well, Pirates, if you are still watching this, I do apologize. My hunt, it was cut a little bit short. Uh, I found a lot of other things, but my camera died, so you guys didn't get to see all of those things. Anyway, I'm going to show you some of the weird stuff that we found, so check it out. All right, so here are the finds, and if you'll notice, there was a ton of rusty stuff there. And it was, it was hitting high on the Excalibur, and I mean, you gotta dig it, right? I pretty much dig everything in the water. It's just easier, and plus, I mean, it's nice out, so why not? We did get a little bit of sunburn. Uh, my face was very red after everything was said and done, but it doesn't matter. We still had a good time. Anyway, check out some of this stuff. I told you guys about the car. You saw that in England, pretty sweet big fan we did get a couple of earrings nothing fancy uh, just junk but we'll take those the junk ring of course a little bit of flower power for you not bad we did get this nice big old bangle of a bracelet it's not bad uh, looks like it's stainless steel though too bad it's not sterling but we'll see maybe the wife will like it hun do you like it? Yay! Check out these cool keys. They are still all just molded together. It looks like it's its own little coral reef. Big fan of those too. Now this was probably, this has got to be almost one of the most ridiculous things I've ever found in the water. Why you would want these out there, I don't know. I'm assuming someone was using these while fishing because uh, they were pretty close to the pier. So anyway, that's my guess. That's why they were out there. Maybe someone dropped them off of the boat or just <laughs> chucked them over the pier. Wasn't happy with the fish they were or were not catching, but whatever. But hey, I'm just happy to be able to pull a lot of this out of the beach. A lot of kids out there swimming around. Don't need them to get cut up by anything. There's no sense in that. I decided to leave the downrigger ball over by the trash can <laughs> at the beach. It was just so heavy I wasn't going to carry it around with me. So, But we did get a good amount of change, some quarters, probably about oh, $4 worth of everything. So all in all, it was a fun time. Had a blast. As you can see, it's hot in Michigan right now. I am actually still sweating, and I cannot wait to get back to the beach. In fact, I'm thinking about going early Sunday morning. I'm talking like 4.30, before the crowds even get there, before the sun gets up, because... It's going to be another hot one, and I don't think I can handle that. So stay tuned for tomorrow's hunt, and remember, just keep swinging for the ring.